The Communist Manifesto has literally been banned, censored, and mocked all over the world for almost 200 years. When Marx and Engels wrote the Manifesto in 1848, communism was already a dirty word. Word on the street is that it's stupid or evil, that it doesn't work and never will. But how many of us even know what the Manifesto says? How many of us have read it? Have you? In the opening section of the manifesto, Marx and Engels say that the history of human society is a story of class struggles. But by 1848, when the manifesto was written, something had happened that changed the hierarchy forever. The Industrial Revolution and the colonization of America. That combination allowed a completely new class to rise to the top, the bourgeoisie, which we'll call the capital class. Back in the day, we had royal families and so-called holy Roman emperors. But the capital class isn't like that. The capital class dominates via cold, hard cash. The manifesto says that when the capital class shattered the world's hierarchies, it basically left two other classes, the middle class and the working class, which Marx and Engels call the proletariat. These days, if you work for a company or if you have a boss, you're probably a member of the working class. And that means you're being exploited. As resources get more scarce and as markets get more saturated, it gets harder to turn a profit. So the modern way to save money is to pay less and less for labor. So we're paid as little as possible. We're given the fewest possible benefits. And if we quit, get too sick to work, or even die, the company we work for just replaces us. That's where the manifesto's most subversive point comes in. It says revolution is inevitable. That's because every time the capital class decreases our wages or takes away our rights and property, it puts us all on the same page. There are billions of us, and we're letting a few thousand people kick the crap out of us. When everyone gets that, the world will change. The next section of the manifesto is probably the bit that gets quoted the most. In it, Marx and Engels describe what they think a society built by and for the working class might look like. One of the manifesto's biggest ideas is that in a working class future, the goal of production is not to create profit, it's to create access. Marx and Engels suggest that everyone should have equal access to the benefits of society, technology, and resources. When Marx and Engels wrote the Communist Manifesto, they included a lot more ideas like this. We don't have time to cover them all, but hopefully you're getting the general idea. And maybe, just maybe, you're starting to see why some people would rather we believe the manifesto is evil without actually reading it. 